Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Murray, Family for the Gaming, Courts in Session. This is FG Answers on what do you think of Memphis? So I've had people ask me, what do you think of Memphis Town with Sully? Well, the way I said that should tell you something. Um, I was born in Washington State, raised in the Pacific Northwest. I was born over in the desert side of Washington State, uh, across the mountains. And I'm used to a certain technological prowess, technological savvy from people. And in Memphis, I found that the technological comprehension is really low. Now, some of the younger generation is getting a lot better. Um, you know, Peter's age, age, uh, they have a lot more comprehension of a lot of the technology. Than, than some of the older people, but I have gotten some insanely dumb questions, unfortunately, um, from people. Uh, <laughs> someone had all these pop-ups coming up all over the place, just popping up all over the place. They were just telling me their computer was broken. No, you have malware. That's it. You know, downloaded a, a software to remove the malware, cleaned it up, fixed it. They were good for, you know, couple months until they did it again. I don't know what they were clicking on, but I was like, don't trust everything, please. You know, a lot of stuff's bad. Um, there's one positive to that though. When it comes to getting video game systems, we generally have not had that much of a problem that we do with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. But, uh, go Switch, PS4, Xbox One, we were able to go up to the store 10 minutes before it opened, get into a very short line, and they had enough systems where we could just walk in and buy it launch day, day one. Okay, so that's kind of cool because a lot of people here are not into the video games as much. So that's kind of Now there is there's some, some people in the retro games, which is kind of cool because uh, Game Exchange is big here. Um, the, the few people that, I, there are very few people that were gamers that I've talked to. The ones that, many of them that were there they were there as a business opportunity to make the money, 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 money. I talked to a lot of people, I remember with the Switch, and they were like, oh man, I'm here to buy this and go sell it again and make money, make a profit. So they were just trying to turn a buck. You know, they didn't care about the Switch coming out. They didn't care about the PS4, they didn't care about the Xbox One. They just cared about buying a system and going selling it online and they were gonna go make some money. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna double my money. I'm like, okay. Yeah, nice. Um, you probably hear everywhere that there's bad drivers. Memphis has its share of bad drivers. I will give you an example. Um, there was someone in front of me, so traffic crashed down to, I don't know, maybe 10 miles per hour, 15 tops. And it was that way for about a quarter of a mile. The person in front of me in this truck, they stick their head out, the, the driver sticks their head out the window they're looking across the way. They spit on the freeway. They look back at me and smile, and then they decide to actually drive, which is what you're on the road to actually do, not to be so stupid and stare. You know what they're staring at? You got this. We're in a four lane freeway. Four lanes here, four lanes coming in the opposite direction. There's a ditch with a barrier in between. On the far shoulder, so not the shoulder closest to us, to their barrier, you know, the barrier between us and the dish between us. They're on the far side. A police officer pulled someone over. They had to slam down and stare. Now I understand they're looky loos I've seen looky loos everywhere, but I've never seen someone look out the window, smile at me and spit on the freeway. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they if they had chew and it was, it was, you know, tobacco they were spitting down there. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. All I know is I was like, this is the Memphis experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've given me the Memphis experience. Um, 
I've also seen people, people here are very, very impatient driving on the road. Um, you, I call them psycho drivers. And, and this one, I've never seen anywhere else, anywhere else at all in the world. I've driven, I've even driven Saudi Arabia, okay? So I've driven lots of places. So, so traffic will start to crash down. And a lot of times, the longest I've seen crash down is maybe a mile, okay? I mean, not, usually not that bad. You know, a lot of times it's a quarter of a mile or less, you know, that you crash down and you're back up to 65. That's one thing about the traffic here that I'd say it's a little bit, lot better than Seattle, a lot better than LA, a lot better than DC. So they'll be crashing down and they freak out and they want to go get to the on ramp or the off ramp. Uh, the problem is they're past the entrance or the exit. So they drive on the shoulder down the grass over and up the grass to get back onto the off ramp. Literally, I have seen this so many times. I, I'd say I see it once a month. When I would sit there and have to drive into the day job uh, Monday through Friday, I would see it at least once a month, someone doing it. Sometimes more than once a month. I mean, I was like, what, huh? And sometimes they would be crashing down. It's like, oh, I forgot my exit. And they just go driving on the grass to go get out there. And I've seen them almost hit people on the, uh, on the off ramp because they are obviously not paying any attention. So I know the drivers here do stuff like that, and I'm like, it's absolute insanity. Um, politically speaking, the, the politicians are generally corrupt. I've seen that over and over again here. I mean, it's, 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 it's sickening. I mean, there's been so many investigations into the corrupt politicians. Politicians admitting to doing things wrong. Um, that's insanity. And, and, and what, they, what they prioritize and focus on here, like the politicians, makes zero sense to me. I, I'm baffled. They will uh, sell uh, like, like one of those statues to um, something like it's, it's a friend of a family member who has a business. They'll sell it and, and they, in the middle of the night, tear it down. They don't sit there and do any public hearings or, or get any public opinion on it. They just, they just tear, tear it down, right? They jump on that. They get that taken care of like that. However, when it comes to crime, oh, well, we can't do anything. We can't be held uh, responsible for it. And it's funny because they would, they would campaign when they wanted to get elected that the previous administration wasn't doing anything about these problems. And they were going to fix it. And then they do the exact same thing of nothing for it. You know, zero. Nada. Um, last I heard, they were still down four or 500 police officers in Memphis, which is one of the reasons why crime is so bad. Uh, it's not, I said, it's not good to say that way. Now, Housing costs generally are a little lower. Um, I don't think the water's that great, honestly, here. Um, if you're into hunting and fishing, and are going to the shooting range, and pew, 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 then yeah, you probably, you'll have places to go do that. Um, the, the Grizzlies is way over expensive, in my opinion, the price for the Grizzlies, especially when <laughs> they lose so much. Now, I know they made the playoffs this year, but yeah, they're gone now. They got they got kicked out of the playoffs. They got uh, they lost. Uh, they're trying to rebuild the team, make it better. I, I don't know if it'll happen or not. Um, there is a Triple A baseball. There had been racing, you know, like like they, they go in circles, you know, left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, circles. But I hadn't. I, I don't know if that got shut down or not. Um, Generally, a lot of people are friendly. Generally, um, you have some mean haters here. Definitely, I've run across some of them. Uh, you've uh, you've got other things that probably have the same problems elsewhere with with people with mental health problems on the streets. Um, there are some huge mega churches here that that do things to help. Uh, I know a lot of people. They call there's uh, Bellevue Baptist. They call it Six Flags Over Jesus. It's considered like a big amusement park. I know uh, we went there for a while for a class, and they are constantly uh, trying to sell you something. Here, go buy this. Here, go buy that. Go buy this. Go buy this. Go buy that. Oh, pay for this. Pay for that. I mean, it's just nonstop uh, revenue and earning. And a lot of times they call themselves a corporate church, and so I'm not really sure they're, you know, uh, as following Jesus as they should, I'll say. Um, you will find hypocrites here. 
Uh, I've noticed that. I noticed that when we moved to the south. I was I was very shocked. Um, all these people I worked with, they would go to church every Sunday, and I was like asking them questions, you know, uh, theological. So I so I was used to, on lunch they're having theological discussions uh, about things from the Bible, and they looked at me like, "What's wrong with you?" Uh, I was just asking you how God's working in your life, what 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 things you've learned recently, how your spiritual growth is going, and you look at me like I'm a nut job. I'm sorry. I thought you said you went to church and you're a Christian. A Christian actually cares about these things. So there, there's some of that. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people here who are genuine and real and very interested in the Bible, but I've seen too many at too many churches. They're not. Um, Food-wise, if you like really sugary barbecue, you'll love Memphis. If you don't like sugary barbecue, then you're going to like go... Uh, and I'm one of those who doesn't like sugary barbecue, so there you go. I like mine more Texas or Oklahoma style, which is more spicy. I like the spicy barbecue. Um, so I don't really like the barbecue here. As far as places to go, there's not a lot. I mean, we've been to most of the museums and even Graceland. Graceland's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, honestly. I was like, wow, this is tiny. Um, so, in my opinion, there's not a lot to do here. You've got too much corruption. Uh, you don't want to get involved with the courts. The courts here are, are, are like corporate. They're, they're way on the corporate side. They're way on the government side. They, they I mean, <laughs> I remember being in court and bringing up the uh, U.S. Constitution, and and then the judge, the judge actually says, "Well, that's over my head. You know, I just have to do whatever laws they have here." I'm like, "You do realize the Constitution's above those laws, right? If those laws don't uh, follow the Constitution, then they're unconstitutional and they can't be applied." Oh, well, that's above my pay grade. I'm like, "Yeah, the Memphis experience." Oh, oh. It took us two years to get a broken trash can replaced here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to love this. So I don't know why they're this way. They're, they're just absolute insanity. You call up, you get a ticket to get something taken care of. They don't do anything, and they close the ticket. You call back a month later to find the status of your ticket, and they say, oh, we closed the ticket. But it didn't get done. Oh, well, that's because they said there was still trash in your trash can and they couldn't take it and give you a new one. Where are we supposed to put our trash for a month to have it picked up if we can't use the trash can? Well, they're supposed to come right after, so then you're saying your employees did a poor job of emptying it. So I had to, you're going to love this, I had to go out there. After it had been emptied, I had to take a picture that there was nothing in it. Flip it over on its top. By the way, the top had already broken off. Put the top on the, the bottom and the, the wheel broken off too. <laughs> fun, fun trash can to use to go get your trash picked up. By the way, they had broken it. Their, their employees had broken it. So <laughs> they have these the, the two prong thing to pick it up and dump it and then slam it back down. And like they, over time, it just broke. <laughs> so I had to do that. And it took them six more months to actually pick it up upside down. I just piled the trash beside it. Now, we had also had two trash cans. So you're going to know this. We had two trash cans uh, ever since we lived here. They came and picked one up and threw it in the back of, back of a truck. Didn't replace it. Didn't drop off another one. Called them multiple times for, for two months. To have them say, well, you're only paying for one. Okay. Why didn't you tell us that? Like, like how hard is that? No. So that, that's also called the Memphis experience. You have a lot um, you have a lot of sloppiness in Memphis. Um, people say, I'll be there by 2, and they show up at 4. You're like, where were you? I mean, I'm supposed to just sit here and wait for you for two hours? Like, I have stuff to do. I, I can't just wait for you to be this way. Um, I've seen lots of racism here in Memphis. It is horrible. Absolutely. I mean... They will lie to your face. I've been to multiple fast food restaurants, uh, Burger King, KFC, 
I'm trying to think where was the other one? Uh, Taco Bell. Oh no, and, and, and the Wendy's, so, so those four. They'll say they're out of something. Uh, you just need to go wait. So you go sit down and wait. And it's a black employee. Black customer comes in after you. And they give them exactly what, what they told you was out of the stock. And they need to make more. Well, that's kind of interesting. I'm just sitting here waiting. You're wasting my time. Why is it the black customer who came in after me gets served before me? Why, why is that, you know, obviously, it, it's, it, and it's a black employee, it's obvious racism. Blatant. Uh, French fries. Here, just go ahead and pull up to the front, and then they sit there and give you know other people in the drive-through line. You see them see them eating the fries, three cars after you, eating fries. They told you there's no fries. Very angry. I go inside. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, okay, we'll get your order now. Yeah, you took my money. You didn't provide the food. You just want me to leave or something? I mean, you're just trying to steal from me. And like I said this this happened at multiple fast food places. I mean, it is ridiculous here in Memphis. I have been called racial slurs in Memphis by people. I'm being nice and polite to and, and pleasant to, and they're just calling me racial slurs out of the blur, out of the blue. When I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, need help with anything? And they start you know, spewing racial slurs at me. It's like, I'm trying to help you. What? What's the deal? You, you know, out of the blue, you just, you just show me that you're a racist. You know, so like I said, there's a lot of racism in Memphis. In Memphis. Um, I don't think that highly of it. And as soon as we're capable of moving out, uh, my plan is to get away from the city. Um, I don't know that there's places that are that much better, but I do know from what I've been seeing that it seems like Florida and Texas have gotten better. So I may look at those places at some point in the future. Uh, if you want, you want to leave a comment below uh, in this, please go ahead. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.